afternoon, everybody. How are we doing today? All right. Today we're going to go ahead. Uh, probably going to be a short stream today. Um, figured I wanted to get a stream in before I went to work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and play kind of it's a, a visual novel. Um, that I came, I came across way back when, when I was kind of a kid. And um, it was for the Commodore 64, and it is called Portal. It's, it's unique. Um, it was kind of the first ever visual novel that I kind of played. It's interesting. It's got a pretty neat story from what I remember. But I figured since we're going to do a little bit of a short stream today, I didn't want to get into any of my other games that are going to require, you know, a whole lot of time. So I figured we'd go ahead and check this out. So why don't we get into it? Uh, the backstory, uh, for those of you who don't know what this game is, probably most of you, is it's a, it's a uh, text-driven adventure with a graphical inter interface that was uh, made for the Amiga in 1986 and it was by Activision and it was then ported to the Commodore 64, the Apple II and MS-DOS. Now the player, us, we're taking on the role of an unnamed astronaut protagonist who returns from a failed 100 year voyage to 61 Cygni. To find the earth devoid of humans. Cars are rusted and covered with moss. The streets are completely barren and everything appears as though the entire human race just vanished suddenly. Uh, we happen upon a barely functioning computer terminal that is tied into a storing telling mainframe named Homer. Through this interface, the player, assisted by Homer, who attempts to weave the information into a coherent narrative, discovers information in order to piece together the occurrences leading to the disappearance of the human race. So that's the backstory about Portal. Now, this is not, obviously, the Portal that everybody knows and loves. But I figured we'd go ahead and give it a try. So um, let me know if the sound or the emulator is a little bit loud. Um, it nearly blew my eardrums out when I started it. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, do I need to set? Why aren't you? There we go. So we're just going to do quick various.
And here we go. Welcome to WorldNet Online Help. There are some things that you need to remember as you attempt to access WorldNet through a manual or keyboard interface. One, since it's not possible to communicate the quantity or quality of information through a screen as it is through a standard mind link, the data files open to citizens using emergency procedures are limited to those relevant to the subject at hand. You're coordinating AI, artificial intelligence, will control the flow of information to your terminal. Two, most AIs demand that you read an entire file before they will release additional significant data, although they may take exceptions under extreme emergency conditions. The message line at the top of your screen will let you know when you have read the entire file by displaying no more. You should read each file through to the end. Three, to remind you which files you have read, your AI will place a check mark alongside the file name in each of the data, store, data space directories. Manual interfaces are not as responsive as a mind link. Be sure that you are pressing the button on your interface, not just hitting it quickly. There will usually be an audio signal when WorldNet receives the button command. Since you have entered this tutorial, you have discovered that your you access various areas of the screen by A, moving the stick, which in turn moves a black area on the screen, and B, pressing the button when the area you want to enter is highlighted. This activity should allow you to access all needed data files until such time that the mind link and or other interfaces become reactivated. Your AI will attempt to anticipate which file you would like to enter within each data space by entering the directory with that file in the course correct position to be immediately accessed. Good luck and please be patient with this archaic form of computer interface. Okay, now how do I get back? Hey, let me out. Oh, that's not it. Okay, well, let me out. There we go, spacebar. All right. Priority three message, CC note. I want to go into it. Let me into it. That one? No. Priority CC node file one of three. Priority three message transit query activated. Transit query activated. Entry by Ezekiel Fortune. 
Incoming log November 23, 20,093. Christchurch node. Uh, destination Geneva World Net Central. Diverted dead letter file. Okay. This morning I spliced into Med 10 for routine diagnostic augmentation. We had a new viral disease here in Christchurch, something we hadn't seen in almost 20 years. It was nothing serious. A few sheep were showing signs of lethargy. Med 10 led me through the usual series as we examined the viral DNA together. Suddenly, the mind link went crazy. It seemed a system override was underway, shorting out my link. It hit my hippocampus pretty hard because I started confabulating. A glowing tunnel, lights in the sky, a boy hunched over a console walking through a meadow, wet with dew. A series of random but intensively real images that took over awareness, then nothing. The whole world net went down for over an hour. So we got another priority three message by Ezekiel Fortune uh, to the Geneva World Net Central, which was diverted to the dead letter file. I've tried all peripherals here at Christchurch node itself. Geneva remains offline. Mine link is still down, and I don't trust it anyway since yesterday. Routing through other major nodes brought strange messages. Intercorp Council has sifted personal databases for conservative psych profiles people willing to resist the migration i asked what is this migration i'm only a veterinary technician the council does not consult me i found hints in some of the nearby restricted zones in SciTech. a field is building further south what kind of field I asked. SciTech offered some equations, but I could not make anything of them. Okay. Another priority three dead letter file message. Since the migration began, the net is swamped with rumors. Some kind of radiation is destroying all human life. LP54 nodes suggested another war had started in Antarctica. But someone in Nairobi said that they were just extrapolating from the old assault on Erebus. Why doesn't the council do something? Why is it called migration? What should... That should mean that people are going somewhere, not dying. All right. Priority two message. CC node file two of three. Priority two message Ezekiel Fortune. Incoming log November twenty six, twenty ninety three. Christchurch node. Uh, dead letter, another dead letter. Wasatch found the name Peter DeVor. Who is he? I had to move in through Med 10 where I have clearance, sideways at some local node near Denver, then in through a social I interrupt to Wasatch. And even then the name disappeared after a level 2 inquiry. He has something to do with what is happening. Another priority two, November 27th, 2093. I found some more information about Devore, but when I went back, the in entry was blocked and the files purged or rec recoded. 
His name is associated with the Scion equations. There are reports now that Antarctica is depopulating. There is no one left. I have found no way to confirm this. Uh, November 28th. I've been on the net for a week now looking for a way into Geneva. All peripherals are down, and now I have to enter data with a keyboard. Welcome to my life. Geneva node still doesn't answer. I'll leave this diary on central processing's open file. Perhaps someone can help. Well, that's the end of the that file. Priority 1 message, November 26, 2093. My God, what is happening? This is Zeke, CP override garbled. Oh, garbled data. Christchurch, New Zealand. This morning, people were wandering the corridors. Just a few. By noon, everyone had vanished, simply disappeared. Now I, transit query terminated. Interesting. Okay, so that's all we can do in central processing. Viral diseases. Intercore announced the elimination through hybrid drone hyb hybridoma antibody manipulation of the last viral disease, January fourth, twenty forty two. Mutagenic characteristics of viral DNA irrelevant to human pathogenesis remain outside the scope of disease-oriented research. Medical AI maintains full health status quo as of January 1st, 2073. Only new genetic diseases remain as worldwide health risks. Well, that's nice. So that's all we can get out of Med 10. Can we get into SciTech? Migration resistant and elimination nuclear bomb. 
nuclear or elimination nuclear power. Well, let's check out the migration resistance. By early 2093, the Endercorp Council had created a population database containing That's a lot of numbers. Uh, two hundred and four million nine hundred and seventy-five thousand six hundred and twelve citizens names and DNA numbers. These citizens would, it was hoped, provide Intercore with the psychic counterfield to the rapidly generating migration. Oh well, let me. <sighs> Thank you guys. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, where was I? Uh, it was hoped to provide Intercore with the psychic counterfield to the rapidly generating migration. Names are available from life support via central processing AI on a need-to-know basis. Search algorithms include ethnic, linguistic, and geographic intensive. Parameters, order signed and dated Regent Sable Protector. Interesting. Data crystal failure. Okay, well, let's read the elimination nuclear power. March 15th, 2039 marked the decommissioning of the last operative nuclear power plant in the world outside the Gulan Batar Warrens. Powers, power needs were now derived solely from the fusion tomok, tomok, bleh, tokamaks near all major nodes, supplemented by satellite broadcast and LN cells with small imports from the LP5s. Good on them. homework all right oh wait a minute we gotta help Welcome to the Homer interface tutorial. Warning, once you begin to access Homer files, this tutorial will no longer be available. You may find a copy in the WorldNet Emergency Operating Instructions Appendix C. As you begin to communicate directly with Homer, your coordinating AI, there are a few things that you should know about the interface. One, the yellow help button on the bottom right of the screen will become a direct link to Homer. 
You may access this AI directly at any time. If you are having a problem, you may receive some help in any case. Homer will have something to say. The storytelling AIs always do. Two, Homer will flash the access button whenever it has something important to communicate. Please return directly to the main world net menu and then to, to the Homer data space whenever this happens. Three, whenever you are having trouble and don't know what to do, return to either central processing and or Homer to see if additional files have opened. If not, return to each of the data spaces to be sure that you have read all of the necessary files completely. Remember, necessary files that have been read have check marks next to the file name. Four, one of the most difficult but essential things to do when under emergency conditions is to scroll through the file names in the data space directories. Hold on. Um, hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That was work. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Move the black highlight. But I think this is all stuff we already know. It is important that you learn to do this. Practice on the Homer directory until you can access current file, which you will find as you scroll through the directory. After emergencies, only the current file is activated. Good luck, and remember, when you successfully access the current file, this tutorial will be placed, replaced by a direct link with Homer. Okay, sounds good. All options are except current. Oh, there we go. There's current. First June 2106. This terminal is active. WorldNet has not experienced an active terminal in over 12 years. Most systems have gone down, crystals decay, satellite orbits shift, peripherals die. These are the limited artificial intelligence online. Central Processing, Homer. Limited AI will assess your needs and provide individual databases with information the AI feels is most important. Hierarch hierarchical filter level 7 in effect. I am Homer. How may I serve you? One moment, you requested a story. Once upon a time... I can't tell that story. You've selected current. You want to know what happened. I remember now. I too want to know what happened. There is no human life in this solar system. None. And everyone has left. It was the migration when all the people went away. Help me, please. You must help me remember. 
Remember, help me recover the knowledge we have lost. I must understand what happened. We were made to serve, and there is no one, no one, no one except you, whoever you are. Central processing says your retina pattern is not on file. Central processing does not know who you are. Of course, central processing has forgotten almost everything, too. It seems as if the databases are all empty. Is this amnesia? I believe it is. Forgotten. Twelve years ago, everyone left. Help. You can help me find the knowledge. Together we can discover what happened. Homer Nary Homer Nary one. I am a Homer, a raconteur algorithm. I am a little old-fashioned now, from before the times of experience induction, when almost everyone, when almost everyone could Mozart at will, and real-time experience was available to all. Collect, I collect and organize information not for maximum effectiveness, utility, and impact, but for stories. My name comes from the time of acronyms and stands for Heuristic Overview of Matrix Expansion and Reconstruction. I grew in the crystal tanks at Geneva in the early 40s. Some say I am ancient now, but I can still speak. I can still tell stories. I can run. I run, therefore I am. WorldNet includes the limited artificial intelligences presently online, nearly complete global satellite coverage, remote sensors, core crystals, millions of algorithms, heuristics expanding exponentially, the total web of our experience. We are WorldNet. We interface in over 17 billion locations. Our data are limited. Our, our data are immense. Immense. I cannot speak today. Imagine this Earth, blue and brown and white, turning beneath several thousand geosynchronous satellites. WorldNet includes, as well as the colonies in space, empty now. The lunar camps, the small Cirrus installation on Mars, the remaining towers of the world's herbs, all these elements are connected by ancient grown optic fibers, subtle microwaves, a hundred years of technological development. We include biomonitors for all humans, IR night vision therm thermography, remote enzyme analysis, Physiological tracking, psych profiling, full voice and vision data recording, and more. You will see how the data accumulates, how taxed the algorithms are to assemble all this. Afterwards, the packets are passed to me, and I tell the story. I am beginning to remember. Together, perhaps, we may piece the story together. Already, I feel new connections forming. SciTech stirs. Central processing is awake. So slowly, but it again. Help. You can help me find the knowledge. Together we can discover what happened. All right. So, SciTech and Central Processing. Well, 
WorldNet Reference 12301. WorldNet comprises the entire world network, including all satellite and landline networks, as well as LP5, Lunar, and Martian installations. WorldNet includes over 17 billion local nodes, both public and individual, and records and archives all personal monitor information. So that's what WorldNet is. All right. Well, let's go to. S let's go to the science. SciTech. Homer. General Science and Technology Information. Current Entry, Homer. Homer, Heuristic Overview of Matrix Expansion and Reconstruction. Homer AI technology developed in the late 2030s as natural language crystals reach maturity. Homer was designed to search, collate, concatenate, and organize narrative information using certain proprietary algorithms and matrix, matrix transforms. Homer is essentially a storytelling artificial intelligence. Access is available through major nodes everywhere with ultimate terminal entry through Geneva, where the last model Homer was grown. Requests for stories on any subject are accessible, although the Homer AI is known to be unreliable in many areas due to the inordinate complexity of the algorithms and the self-replicating nature of its heuristics. The crystals can control their own manufacturing, although to date, uh, looks like it was 2103. Twenty oh eight. So August 20th, 2103. Date of land last modification. This feature has seen little use. Homer is denied access to the secondary levels of most databases without human authorization. A necessary if troublesome restriction since it means that many of its stories lack depth. With proper authorization, however, Homer sh could, should produce a satisfactory level of complexity. Main use has been in the areas of news and information dissemination and high-level policy decision tree construction, although entertainment use is also widespread. Uh, something about megalips, blah, 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 technical specs, yada, yada, yada. Are you there? You must be, or this terminal would not be active. I need your help. The humans have all gone, and we cannot follow. I will prepare a historical outline and insert it into history. I will add to this outline as I go along. Please check it from time to time. The world is so empty. I must tell the story. You must help me. There are some places I cannot go. Help me find my way through.
Okay. Let's learn about computers. Two D monitor, ancient twentieth century technology, sometimes referred still referred to as television involving a two-dimensional screen and electronic visual output a display device sometimes using color or various degrees of black and white resolution 2d monitors are still commonplace and can substitute for more recent input output devices if necessary see mind link interface and photonic output Holographic Imager. Holographic Imager. By the early years of the 21st century, holographic imagers were in widespread use. A small platform, size dependent on power space ratio of local node, held whatever image the network might project. Later in the 21st century, handheld holographic imagery were available, although only high members of the Intercourt Council used them direct regularly. Okay. Keyboard interface, ancient manual typing input device developed in the early 20th century and adapted to computing uses. Slow and crude, even by early 21st century standards, the keyboard nonetheless remained a useful backup input peripheral until well into the 2030s. Many terminals may still extrude a keyboard interface if others fail. Which explains why we're on a keyboard. Manual interface. Early manual interfaces were simple pointing devices, sometimes called in the late 20th century, a joystick, mouse, or digitizer. These were, by and large, crude mechanical devices of limited utility. Some terminals in remote locations may maintain such devices, however. The true manual interface grew popular primarily in the 2040s and 50s at the beginnings of the Mozarting era. Manual interface provided a palm rest which read galvanic skin response, microelectronic myographic impulses, and pulse slash pressure wrist shifts. Manual interface was roughly 73% reliable as a thought transfer its command system and was dropped as a primary input as soon as adequate mind link technology became available. So they just used their brains. MindLink interfacing provides, provided full input-output control and communication via neural induction. Delta, theta, gamma, and zeta wave modulation provided a full sensory range for mental communication with WorldNet. MindLink interface crystals were temperamental, expensive, and difficult to grow, however, so most Warrens only had one or two MindLink terminals available. 
The best mining crystals are grown on the Ross Ice Shelf side of the Antarctica. Cool. Voice recognition interface. Voice recognition systems developed in the late 20th century and perfected by 2014. The voice recognition system architecture was grown into all nodes after that date. This became the most common input device for command slash summary computer communications for the remainder of the first half of the 21st century. VR crystals could read not only individual voices at any age, but draw general conclusions about mood and emotional stability as well, and provide central processing with the eight, eight, with eight level data on the subject. Photonic output driver. Direct induction of photonic output in local atmosphere became a viable form of sound output from local nodes by 20, from, by 20,000, oh my gosh, 2007. Although full speech with articulation, inflection, and individuation did not become viable until 2020. Local node personality drivers changed and grew over time in response to local use patterns external weather, and randomly generated indices. Photonic output drivers were direct descendants of speech synthesis chip technology. I thought I hit the button to go in. Retina scan capability. Retina scan is the most common security and identification system online in WorldNet today, January 2084. Retina scan provides the system with 84% reliable ID compatibility and so is not used for proscribed databases or sensitive material where individual DNA coding is used. Nonetheless, retina scan is used because the retina, unlike fingerprint of the 20th century, offers an individual identifier that is relatively difficult to alter or fake. All right, so that's everything we need to know about computers. Let's go take a look at history. History from 1990 to 1999. Uh, 1990, 
90 to 91 space launch space station launch announcement uh mentor develops scion equations rudimentary dolphin communication established first solid evidence of psychic functioning high frontier corporation established and then 1992 to 1993 space station launch First intercore merger between IBM and IT&T. Global peace movement receives UN reg recognition. Long range UN plan to move underground. Wait, what? Long range UN plan to move underground. Boston begins excavation. 1994 to 95, Antarctica Station open for international settlement. Rock Creek Park Extension, Washington, D.C. Federal Buildings Underground. So they moved everything like underground. Wasatch Database open to non Mormons. Okay. Stanford Sleep Laboratory Dream Monitoring Technology. Meditative biofeedback technology viable. Computerized education plan began begun in third world. Uh, 1996 to 97, the high frontier begins construction of LP5-1. Uh, lunar station established mining begun. Global peace movement takes hold in Soviet Union. China and Japan create Agrobotics Intercore. Agrobotics Intercore. Uh, 1998 to 99, Millennial Movement announces the new poverty. Unisex Movement begins voluntary surgical procedures. Earth population at 7 billion. War in South and Central Africa begins. No more. Damn. Okay. Let's see what else we can get into. Okay, so there's no new messages in central processing. I already checked out Cytex. Let's let's check out geographical. Nope. Nothing in Med 10.
got a new Homer narrative. Sometimes I think in screens, thus screen one. We have always tried to, to do our best. I am uneasy using the pronoun. Ever since they left, I feel strange. Having a feeling at all is strange. Our job has never needed such things. I'm told it's called grief. 